Hey guys, this is my second update to my Space Arcade project. And what I've done here is created a model that's supposed to represent a laser bolt. And so what I'm working on now is creating projectiles and having them interact with ships. So you can shoot other ships and at some point they'll be able to shoot you back. So this is what I'll use as a projectile. Um, and you should be able to just change the color of it to whatever you want. So if you want red projectiles, you can just change the color to red, or green projectiles, you change it to green, etc. And so this is what it looks like in the actual game. And I've kind of made it a yellowish color. So what I did was I created an emissive shader, and so it always kind of glows no matter where you shoot. But there it is. It's very fast, so it's kind of hard to Hard to see, but as I move sideways, you might can kind of see the shape of it. And so what I started working on doing was adding collision a collision shape around it. As you can see, there's like a stretched cube matching the model. But I don't think I'm going to go with that. Uh, the reason being is if I were to shoot this projectile at one of these ships and it intersects with that red spatial hashing cell, it will then do a collision check with the ship and see if it collides with the ship. That's all well and great, but since these things are moving so fast, if you have a frame rate hitch, I believe that it is possible that the projectile will go straight through the model's collision shape, depending on where that frame rate hitch happens. It's kind of hard to explain, but essentially, the, the, imagine the projectile being right before the ship, so if my camera's projectile flies up to the ship and then we hit a frame rate hitch, we have a large delta time and the projectile next position is right here and therefore it goes through the ship. So I have an idea how to fix that, but I haven't implemented it yet. Um, I did start to implement it and I can show you a little bit of work on I've done on that. So the idea um, I have to fix the frame rate issue is having the projectile stretch from its start point to its end point for that given frame. And that way it covers the entire space that it moves for the frame. Here I have my test bed for spatial hashing. You can see that I can move these cubes around, rotate them, and the cells that the cube would occupy are updated in real time. So this red cube occupies those spatial hashing cells. Now, the way I set it up is cells don't actually exist unless something occupies them. So the only cells that actually exist in this entire grid of things are those red cells and those blue cells around the two cubes. So if I wanted my projectile to, say, stretch from that blue cube to that red cube, I would need to do some sort of like line trace between the two. And the current code if that calculates cells would actually calculate a huge number of cubes like a basically a huge cube between those two, the blue cube and the red cube. So I wrote code to do a line trace through all the cells. So if I enable my mouse and I hit the button to cast a line, you can see there's a yellow line and all the cells that it theoretically would go through are calculated and displayed to us. So if I cast it through there, the only cells that are actually collision tested are cells that actually exist. So it would be this cell here and that cell there. All of these are calculated, but they don't exist. So there's nothing to the collision test. And so my idea to get the projectiles working correctly is to have the projectile stretch from some point to another point on this line, do this line trace, and do the collision test for all the cells that the projectile is currently stretching through. And it might not be performance, so I might not can go with this path, but we'll find out after I implement it.